Hello everyone, this is your girl Lady D. How are you doing in this late, late evening? As you all know, I'm on vacation. I told you I may pop up at any time. But, um, you know, I had to come on here tonight because it's just something, you know, after watching, did you guys see that um, video? I put the link on the community. Uh, on the channel with this uh, Timothy Savage guy. <laughs> now he's using the Lord to plead his case. What is wrong with these people? Now we just heard a clip the night before, right? Where well, this guy is admitting all of this crap was a joke that the people of uh, surviving R. Kelly, um, they were aware that a lot of those women were lying. But he's on his channel, preaching to the choir. Oh, this guy, did you guys watch it? He, he's a, oh my God. You're talking about a devil in disguise. It amazes me how people can take, play on people. And I'm reading, I didn't comment or anything on his page, but uh, I actually found out that he did this particular live from Infamous Celia's channel. I was on her channel earlier today and um, she didn't show the video, she was just doing the audio. So I wanted to see the actual audio. And that dude, he's scary. He's, wow, I can't believe there's, he's someone's parent. Doesn't he know we know everything? He's on here pleading as if R. Kelly still had supposedly had you know, he's supposed to have all this control over Jocelyn. His adult daughter, I think, uh, he had to catch himself when he was talking because he wanted to make her younger than what she actually was. But it, it, he caught himself. She was an adult. And she wasn't 19. I think the girl was 20. That's why when he first brought his ass on national television and I found out the girl was 20 years old and he's screaming and shouting like she's 15, that blew me away. So he caught himself in his uh, performance. That's what I call it. I guess he was, um, I don't know. Oh, and the thing, the people that were in his chat, his subscribers, I'm sure, probably all family members, a few cousins, you know. F.R. Kelly, he's never getting out. He's where he's supposed to be. He's in that, you know, oh my God. I said, why is this man all of a sudden on here with this nonsense? Why is he bringing this crap back up again, you know? I don't understand it. Man, your daughter, what, 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 I mean, the woman is living her life. She's not, you know what I'm saying? I don't get it. Why are you still blaming this man for your wrongdoing? Your daughter is not staying away from you because of R. Kelly. Man, that is so old and stale. I can't even believe you're still using it. And plus, that's a grown-ass woman. If she doesn't want to talk to you, she doesn't have to talk to you. I don't even know you and know your ass crazy. Something is seriously wrong with you. I think I'm a pretty good judge of character. And dude, when I first saw you on TV, I knew immediately you were full of crap. Immediately I felt it. Especially when you took when the age of the daughter came out, but you just had like this control. It was just something about you, Mr. Timothy Savage. 
that stood out immediately that you were up to something. And come to find out my instincts was right. You were. You were so slick in your, or trying to be, in your deliverance. <laughs> You're on your resurrection Sunday. Yeah, right. You were throwing the Clarys under the, under the bus, indirectly. You sure wanted to clear up that you sure didn't put your daughter in that situation. What were you doing, dude? What were you doing? This is pathetic of how you guys do. Man, this R. Kelly situation is the saddest thing I've ever witnessed in, in all my days. It really is. Now, I thought this case in uh, Minnesota that he had, I was told that case had been dropped because of um, that attorney, that Abenadi guy, ended up taking his ass to prison, which he claimed he would make sure R. Kelly would be, never see that day. Now, I was told he was representing this woman in uh, Minnesota, and after he got arrested, sentenced, and now jailed, that she dropped the charges. But now I don't know because I found out today, I think it was, I was on some channel today and found out that that case, I don't even know if it's the same case because they're accusing this man of What are they, uh, um, some sort, what are they, what are they, yeah, prostitution, I think it's it, prostitution is, I'm like, what the hell, so I was reading this particular article, and I'm like, this is so ironic that all of these people are saying the exact same All their stories the same. Isn't that suspect? And from what I read for this Minnesota case, that's why I don't know if he got multiple cases there. I don't know. But from what I read, this young lady, supposedly underage, 17, and um, she was supposedly allegedly, I guess I'm supposed to say. She went to a hotel room, he was in there, and no sex took place, And uh, but he paid her $200 to dance for him. Don't that sound kind of strange? I don't get it. Isn't it possible these when these people are just making this stuff up? Because that's what it sounds like to me. I can be, I don't get it. Where is this stuff coming from? They can't prove anything. Now, the more I read in the article, it seems like to me, this particular charge in Minnesota came about because she reached out to him and found out his number had been changed. Now, doesn't that sound like a woman that, said that was angry? Oh, I get your ass. And why aren't they like, what the hell are you dancing for 200? None of that stands out? Why did they try to make these women so innocent that's doing these acts? I don't understand it. And Tim Savage, you need to really, you, 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 you claim you didn't experience, dude. You 
you sound really mental when you're talking about your grown daughter that R. Kelly is still holding your, how? Can you explain how is he holding her and he's been in a damn dungeon, as you call it, the lion's den, which you said David was in the damn lion's den, but anybody that knows the Bible know damn well David wasn't in no damn lion's den. There you go again, looking like a damn idiot. Yes, I said it. That's how I knew you were. You were full of it. You were on here preaching like you really. And how I also knew you was full of shit. Because you had a thing. You're going to put the gospel music behind. Like you do it. You were holding service. Is that what you were doing? Even though you still lying every other word that came out of your mouth? And you playing with God? You even playing with your subscribers? These people really believe you. These people subscribe it because they believe in what your content. They believe in what you're saying. Everything is out. Obviously, your uh, subscribers aren't aware of what's been revealed. So they're in the dark. You need to stop. And if you really want your daughter to communicate with you, why don't you start acting like a real dad? Use your channel and truly, truly apologize to your adult, fully grown daughter. Why don't you use that channel for that? Let her feel your sincerity. But you're still doing the same darn thing. She's in love with that man that you keep bashing and making him look like a devil in the eyes of your subscribers. I was shocked to see how many people were subscribed to your channel to listen to that BS. They believe you. I'm, here, I'm seeing what these people, oh, we pray for you all the time about your daughter. Oh, that is just stuff that I can't even imagine. You're playing on people's weak, I don't get it, emotion. You're playing on people's emotions. What are you doing? What are you doing? And you think that's going to cause your daughter to come back to you and you, you haven't changed not one bit? You're not even trying. It's hard to come out and admit that you lie, right? How would you look after telling over 8,000 people that's on your channel of what R. Kelly did to your daughter when you absolutely know R. Kelly didn't do anything to your grown daughter. That was really sad. I could not believe what you were doing. I want y'all to live. That's how you were on the TV. You want to take control. You want to tell who can speak when they want to speak. So you're going to tell everybody, no, before I get started, let me play this. I want you to hear this. But did you hear it? Because that gospel was real, but you were playing. But you make, you're making a mockery out of it. How could you do that? What are you doing? And why the hell are you going uh, to the sentencing on the 16th? What the hell you got to do? Your daughter not involved in this case. She has not participated in that trial. Why are you going for? Answer that, please. What are you going for? You're doing some damn victim. No damn way you don't give a damn about those people. I haven't heard you say shit about none of them. All I keep hearing you crying for your daughter to come back. She's gone. I wouldn't come back to your ass either. Yes, I said it. I did. You're a toxic. I wouldn't want to be around you. That's probably why she clinged to somebody that really showed her some true affection. You're a control freak. That's what you are. I see it. 
I look at your wife and see in her eyes, both of you got some serious, you done messed her, that woman up. Yep, I said that too. I said it. I sure did. I could not believe that was that woman that day when you guys had this so-called psychiatrist. If that's your psychiatrist, your ass need to find you another one. Because she shouldn't have been participating in that. No. So you got her. You can control. You control, how the hell are you gonna control the the therapist? The therapist. Well, you're not telling her the truth. So basically, she only going by whatever you telling her. You people, what is wrong with you people? Don't everything is out. That's why you people look crazy. I mean, really mental. I'm not exaggerating, and I'm not trying to be mean at all. I am truly keeping this real. Yes, I am. Your daughter is grown. That's a grown woman. No one has her. She's not locked up anywhere. She knows where you are. And you're going to get on there and use the gospel, quoting everything wrong. What were you trying to do? I said, yeah, you had a handful of people in there, but you had enough to to let me know that these people are still out there just as sick as you. You guys are obsessed with this man, but in the wrong way. Why are you blaming this man for what your grown-ass daughter did? Why it has to be his fault? You raised her. Isn't it a reflection of you and the misses? You people need to stop and leave this man alone. You have no business showing your ass up at that damn sentencing. If there is going to be a sentences, we don't know. But you spoke that as if you knew something. Yeah, I caught that also. How you know it's going to be a sentence? Who's to say what we're waiting for to be revealed from the jurors course to near that that stops that sentence? But the way you spoke it is like it was a sure thing. You guys don't have the last say. Even that judge doesn't have the last say. I, yeah, she got, I know she thinks she does. But this judge is making herself look like she's a part of this nonsense. It's too much, it's too much proof out there. Not allegations. Proof that this man is innocent and he didn't do anything. But because you guys kept up this damn circus for so long, you can't get out of it. You can't get out of it. Now, you should have just left it alone. Now, all of a sudden, you're going to use Easter Sunday to come on here and just look stupid. And dredge up this mess all because it's getting close to sentencing. It's not over till it's over, buddy. Even if the, he's sentenced, it's still not over till it's over. Don't you know that? You the one was preaching about the miracle of God. Isn't that what you were saying? is off and you think God got him in there are you serious this is all the work of your God that devil that's why he's in there God don't have shit to do with that in my own personal opinion God is not about hurt do you know that or do you that's the devil you're listening to. That's not God. Because if you were listening to God, God would be telling you, tell the truth. 
That's why you're looking so damn crazy. Because you got the truth in you and you can't even reveal it. Because you done lied. So you know how when you lie, you, the lie has to continue. How can you come out now? If you were truly a reborn anything, you would take the fallout. You want to be a part of this case, so, but you know he had shit to do with the case. But you want to be a part of it for some reason. Why? Jocelyn is not a part of this case. She was not brought up. So what is the... Why are you still in it? What is wrong with you people? You don't have a life unless you get, R. Kelly is in it. But you keep saying you don't want him in it. But you keep bringing him in it. I mean, it's just pathetic how you people are. And all of your followers. And anyone that believe in this nonsense. But I was so shocked. I said, is this case still going? Well, what case was supposed? I, I remember I'm, I had a video where I was informing people because it was verified that the case was dropped. And then I stopped. People were reaching out. I was like, no, I don't know, uh, Lady Dia. Uh, you need to check that out a little bit further. I don't think it's dropped. And then I asked one of them, someone that I figured that would really know, and they didn't say yes and they didn't say no, but see, they didn't confirm it either. So I had to pull that video because I don't ever want to put something out there that's not true. Even though I've had several people tell me that case, I mean, one that actually lives there and uh, heard, uh, saw it, but just didn't think anything of it because, uh, no, saw it and didn't speak on it and thought it was odd that no one else was talking about it because that was big news. And then when I first uh, put it out there that the case against him was dropped uh, for that particular charge, but he still had the civil case there. So, okay, I understood the civil part. And uh, then, uh, when I, like I said, when I put it out there, someone was like, what? I didn't know anything about this. So what they did, they have uh, this attorney that they know uh, that practices out of Minnesota. Contacted that attorney. He did whatever, checked it out, and verified it. So I don't, I don't, I'm, I'm confused about that now. So I don't know what's going on. But for prostitution? Uh, I guess he's supposed to be pro uh, uh, having these women pro I, I, that Seriously? And you people believe it? Just when did he have time to play pimp? When? When? Cause I want you to make sure you get a get a cop. Have they even looked at this man's schedule, his itinerary? When did he have time to play pimp and sit back and collect the funds from these so-called prostitutes? And again, where the hell these since they're so young, where the hell are they parents at? Why are these young girls so able, uh, easily able to travel on their own? And they're only, what, seven, 16, 17, whatever, they, you know? No, I think everyone is 17. Because all their stories is the same. Everybody's 17. He basically did the same thing with each one. And you mean tell me this is not suspect? And then in the article, the, the, uh, the state's attorney said that... Uh, that case doesn't even have to go to trial as long as he's sentenced for, for these other cases. What type of shit is that? If he harmed your client, you don't worry about what the hell is happening somewhere else. You want your client to also get whatever she needs. You know what I'm saying? Don't you want him to, doesn't she want him to suffer for her? To put her time on him as well? This shit makes sense.
This is truly a circus. And this man is right in, the, it's like a ping, they playing ping pong with him. Bam, bam, bam. Because we so caught up on this New York shit. What's happening with this crazy shit? Okay, say we get our victory. But then he got this shit over here. And then he got this shit over here. Allegedly over here. I don't even know what's up with Minnesota. No one is even talking about it. I am so confused at this point. Sad that the fact that this man's name is so tarnished. And mind you, like I said, this man has 8,000. This is Timothy Savage. This man has 8,000 subscribers. So that means that's 8,000 people that believe it. Don't forget about the Tigger radio uh, uh, station. All of those callers. All the people that come after me. When they watch me, even though they hate them, but they still watch my videos that's talking about R. Kelly. And they come after me. And I had someone, you know, I'm so sick of these damn people, I don't know what to do. Now, the person that's uh, left me a message to say I talk too damn much, let me tell you something. I may talk too damn much. but I know what the hell I'm talking about. I may talk too damn much, and I may be doing a, uh, showing a video, and I may talk over for a quick second because I'm passionate about what the hell I'm talking about. The focus is not me. The focus is the damn topic. The subject matter. What the hell are you worried about? Are you serious, people? Why are you people so bring y'all, because you so damn miserable. You got to bring that shit over here. How the hell are you going to tell somebody, they, you talk too goddamn much? That's probably your first damn time on my damn channel. This is what it's about. That's what I do on this channel. I talk, okay? That's what I do. Because this is not a damn joke. I'm not trying to impress no damn body on this damn channel. I'm trying to reach somebody so that they can understand the injustice that is being done to Robert Sylvester Kelly. This is what this shit is about to me. I'm not on here for no other reason. So if I talk too damn much, find a damn channel that doesn't talk as much as I do. Okay? I, I don't like that dumb shit. You keep that shit to yourself. If anything I say on my channel or just you on the channel and you don't like it, don't visit the damn channel. Same way I tell you people about that man damn music. If you don't like the lyrics to the damn music, don't listen to it. It's that simple. It's not life changing. Don't listen to it. You people make yourselves miserable. Oh, oh yeah, you, be, you know what you're talking about, but you talk too much. What type of shit is that? That sounds ignorant to me. So therefore, I'm not the one for you. Because I may say, I might shout all kind of shit. Because that's what I do. Because I'm passionate about this subject. So let me make that clear to you. Okay? You damn people focus on the wrong shit at the wrong time. Hey, you gonna sit and talk about you talk too dumb. Was that shit supposed to be funny? It sound it grow the fuck up. Excuse my language. But see, that's when somebody take me there, because you know I don't like talking like that. But that's when I, you know, this is no joke. We are getting to the final damn seconds of this situation. And this shit is serious because this man is innocent. You gonna put that shit on there. 
some stupid shit. Instead of putting out a goddamn idea or a better suggestion how we can solve this shit and get the word out there. Did your ass uh, sign that damn petition? That's the focus. The hell out of here with that shit. Goddamn people don't have shit else to do but try to criticize some goddamn. But see, you got the wrong one. I don't give a damn. Because this is me. I'm going to keep it real and I'm going to say what the hell I want to say. Now, understand when I'm showing, talking, and if I'm uh, showing my subscribers a video or whatever and a certain part come in and it might hit me, yeah, I might speak, but so damn what? Play the shit back and hear it over if you're that goddamn interested in it. And anytime I show a video of someone that I've gotten from somewhere, I always provide the link so they can check it out. So shut the hell up. So obvious that was your first time. Don't bring your ass back because I don't, I don't need that. I really don't. I'm not the one. So my uh, subscribers, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's why I had to come on here like this tonight. Because, you know, it's just one of those days. These people think this is a joke. This is no damn joke. This is a human being that we're talking about. This is a father. This is a brother. This is a friend. That's being railroaded. And you people act like he's, he has nothing, that he's just walking alone. That you're not hurting anyone else with this nonsense. It needs to stop. Timothy Savage really set me off today with that BS. This is really crazy. All of a sudden... Because in the, now they want to bring this. But if anybody listen to him, they know he sound like he crazy. But I caught him, though. I caught him. Because he wanted to try to lie that the daughter was much younger than she was. But then he realized a lot of people knew that her ass was already grown. You know, I can't stand that shit. This is no joke. Now, I haven't heard from Angelo DeClaris, not since, you know, Jane Doe number five over there doing something uh, stupid. See, they all messed up because they, they caught up in a web of lies. Yeah, they all messed up. Caught up in a web of lies that they can't get out of. I was shocked to hear that man say, so when we show up on June 16th to the, sit your ass down somewhere. Show up for what? What are you going there for? And if I hear about these victims one more time, oh my God, just the word victim. I, right now, I want to just talk to the real victims. I am so very sorry that you have experienced what you have experienced. No one, male, female, no one should ever be treated in the manner that you were treated. I want you to know I am not a heartless woman. I am not dismissing what, uh, what happened to these women. I'm dismissing their lies because it never happened to them. They studied you guys. They studied you guys. So they would know how to fool the public. Please know that. These R. Kelly supporters, they are not ignoring what happened to people like you. We are not doing that. That is not what we're doing. And I hate that I have to say that because to me that should be with said um, should be without being said. You should know, you know what I'm saying? People should know that. That's awful. And I've, I, 
I can't even imagine someone ex truly experiencing that because I've never had that happen to me. So I know to hear that a man has done this to another woman is just reliving your nightmare. But please know you got to you really need to watch the women that say that. Watch them closely. And you will be able to identify. You'll be able to know if what she's saying is real. These women were acting. Trust me, they were acting. They're not real. It's out there. It's out there. You really want to know? Check out the channels of Infamous Syria. Check out the channel of Spin Fire. Check out the channel of Texas Black Diamond. Check out the channel of Prima Donna. Check out the channel of Sky Zone. Check out the channel. You see what I'm saying? Choke, no joke. These people, that the truth lies with, it's all there. They're not victims. And I just want you guys to, we're not, we're not ignoring your pain. They're taking advantage. They think it's a joke. They think it's a joke. They studied you. So they would know how to react. But what they fail to understand, if it didn't really happen to you and you lied, it's going to come to light. And that's exactly what's happening to all of those women. If you don't believe me, please play this back and visit each and every one of those channels. And you will find out I'm telling the truth. I just wanted to hop on here and get some things off of my chest. Hey, subscribers, how you guys doing? <laughs> as soon as I get some information, I would definitely be back live so we can chat and talk about it. But I had to, I just had to get this out, man. This is, this is, this needs to stop. This needs to stop. You meet two people, stop it. All of you cancer cultures, stop it. And that also goes uh, for you. Check those channels out. Really check them out. And stop this nonsense. This campaign against Robert Sylvester Kelly. Stop it. The man is innocent. And even if you want to say he was guilty, the man has served his time. It's been thir three years. Time served. Stop this nonsense. If this man been in here three years, this shit been going on for a minute. So this five years are just pure B. S, and it's time for it to stop. Let this man live his damn life. And you people going with your know-it-all asses, judgmental ass people, and worry about your own damn lives and what's really happening in your life. Because if you were damaged, he didn't damage you. So deal with your real issues. And stop making other people have to pay for what someone else have done. Hey guys. <laughs> it's your girl Lady D signing out. I would definitely be in touch with you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.